All right, guys, welcome to, uh, I guess, part two of this camper build of mine. Um, I've actually compiled a lot more footage and videos and stuff than I thought. So I thought I'd do a part two, maybe even a part three or four. I don't know. We'll see how long it, it all ends up. But I just wanted to show you guys where I'm at in the build and um, give you guys a look at it before it gets all sealed up. So it's not totally done, but uh, this is, like I said, where I'm at. I've laid out a lot of the parts that still kind of need to go in, but uh, I thought I'd just do a quick, well, I don't know if it's going to be quick, but do a little video of, of where we're at. So I've, uh, I've started working on the electrical. Pretty much all the wires, all the uh, all the lights are in. There's a few more lights that got to go in. I've just dimmed the lights here so you guys can see what it looks like. But the interiors kind of started, I'd say about half done. Added a little scale detail. Um, it's got a, it's got a sink. It's got a, an oven, stove, some some couches, everything you'd see in a in a camper, pretty much. But uh, the whole idea was I didn't want to have a removable top because I want to keep it as scale looking. But at the same time, I got to do all this stuff and, and seal it all in forever and ever. So, I mean, it's it's been a challenge seeing as how it's just a total scratch build, but I'm really happy with how it's come along. So that was the plan. Um, just kind of finish off the the interior and then I'll, I'll put the roof on there seal it up so I've wired uh, as best I could some lights on the interior it's almost impossible to get some lights on the roof because I'm not going to be able to to get my hands in there once the roof goes on but I thought I'd do some some lighting over here and usually you'd see cabinets up here but like I said I won't be able to get my hands in there to finish finish them off and get them flush to the roof. So I, I thought I'd just do a, like a shelf like this and then add a lot of this stuff here, these bits, just to kind of cover up the wires. Like uh, eventually these wires are all gonna get glued down and then, uh, here, well, let me get a little more light in here. Just to show you guys what we've got going on. So anyway, as I was saying, all this stuff here, this isn't even in yet, but most of it's in. But that's the plan. I've put this one in here. I'm going to put another one in the front here, and then I'm going to cover it, hide all these wires with, with some of these scale bits. Pots and pans and pillows, sleeping bags, books, all that kind of stuff. Things you'd see in a, in a camper. Like I said before in the first video, this is a, a 70s. 70s camper it'd be a on the larger side probably like a 10 and a half 11 footer because it's got the overhang and uh, like I said I originally wanted to put it in the Charisma F-150 but because of the shallow bed you know I wouldn't be able to have an interior so I thought I'd just make the static model first and and just have some fun and, and then uh, maybe make a another camper later so it's been it's been a lot of fun but uh, it's taken a lot of time I, I mean I don't even know how many hours I've put into this thing. But uh, anyway, this is where we're at right now. I mean, a lot of this stuff still isn't in. Uh, but most of, it's, most of it's in. The, uh, the sofas and the kitchen. I mean, it's, it's really tricky here with one hand, guys, so excuse me for the, the crappy footage, but. But yeah, I still got windows I gotta put in. I've put in some of the curtains. I mean, the, the exterior is not really finished. I've, uh, I've still got like uh, doors and all the little bits and bobs you'd see on a, on a camper, vents and stuff like that on the outside, stickers and decals and pipes and, and whatever. So right now I'm just focusing on finishing the interior. Um, if I let you guys have a look at it, like I said before, I close it up, seal it in there for good. So that's the plan. But I'm, I'm really, really impressed with how this has turned out. I mean, 
it's it's been really finicky at times and especially not really having any plans to go off it's just you don't know how things are gonna work but uh, so far so good so anyway this is uh, this is the plan here was to seal it up and then I got a little bit of a trap door down here that I'm gonna maybe use a magnet or some some velcro or something so when it's all wired up I can pop this not I'm not gonna use this battery but something smaller so I can pop up in there and then seal it up and then I've just kind of made this dummy washroom but really this this room here is just gonna house all the uh, all the wires all these wires all end up meeting into the bathroom they're all gonna come along the top here and I cut a little hole in the corner on top of the fridge and then they're all gonna come into the washroom and then you're not gonna see any hopefully any, any wires so when the roof's all sealed up you're gonna be looking at this thing through through the door or through the windows and I don't really want to see any wires and stuff like that so um, so that's where we're at right now guys and I thought I'd just lay out all the parts that still need to go in um, like I've uh, and like I said at the end of this this here I'll show you guys all the little videos that I took along the way of the build I mean I know nobody really wants to look at the slideshow of pictures so I've tried to record as much as I could at the same time just to, to keep it interesting but uh, yeah I've added as many scale bits as I could uh, just back and forth on the internet looking at other campers and stuff I mean I've even got a little table here that like I said if you if you watch the rest of the video you'll see how all these things went together and uh, I mean all these little these accessories are all kind of Chinese stuff called dollhouse but for doll one 12 scale dollhouse miniature things I wonder if I can get that to sit there okay something like that so I don't know exactly how everything's gonna get laid out I've kind of started with some of the things that I knew I wanted where I wanted them but uh, that's where we're at so far guys so yeah that's the plan I mean I, I want to hide all these wires like I was saying so I'm just gonna take some of these some of these little pots and pans and I mean I don't know exactly what it's gonna look like or what I'm gonna do but something along along the way along this idea just piling stuff up here sleeping bags and books and clothes like I said things you'd find in a camper but I got some pretty cool things that still need to go in some little pillows and folded up some some material to fabric to make some towels books and all kinds of things I made these little books myself actually just printed out the uh, the covers and I think they they look pretty cool, really scale. So you can either I don't know how I'm going to display them or what I'm going to do with them. Maybe I can just even pile them up and then just have them kind of like that. Like I said, sorry guys for the crappy footage. It's a little tricky with one hand but just show the spines I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do but I just made these little sleeping bags out of felt I mean I don't know exactly what I'm gonna use a little cowboy hat uh, a couple curtains still that I need to go in uh, I still have a few lights that I want to put in there I'm trying to keep it with the uh, with the with the time period the 70s right and it's definitely 70s looking That'll hopefully go on the on the ceiling somehow if I can. That's different uh, wattage or voltage, so I'm not really that good with wires. So I gotta figure out how I'm gonna power these. 
I don't want to fry anything, right? Because if I fry anything and this and it stops working, I mean that's it. The, it. I'll never get it repaired because once the roof goes on, I've got to I've got to put uh, stripping little pieces of uh, quarter molding stuff in here and then sanding and painting and I don't want to don't want to mess with it. So hopefully it, my wiring's worked. I mean it's pretty basic stuff, but like I said, I'm not really an electrician. And, I have no clue if I'm, I'm putting the right amount of uh, amperage to to the battery and stuff like that. I mean, I don't even know. Just kind of cross my fingers and hope. But anyway, these are all the bits that I, I still have to put in there. Some little hinges for the door. I'm not sure what I'm going to use. This is the, the rear door. All these things is just a little a little screw that. I I'm turning into a handle. I'm not even sure which way I want the door to open yet, but it's coming along. You can kind of picture how it's going to look when it's all done. A little handle for the little grab handle. And I made this out of just balsa wood and some sandpaper. And uh, kind of like a bumper. The sandpaper is like the Like I said, guys, really sorry for the shakiness and out of focus stuff, but I've got one hand here, but that's gonna just go like that, some, something like that. And then I do have some steps. I don't have them out right now, but I have some steps. Uh, I've made windows, just plastic windows that I'm cutting to size. I'm not sure what I'm going to use yet. Some with some uh, silver tape just to kind of give it that um, little weather stripping you'd see on those old campers. I really like these uh, jacks that I've built. Two different size of tubes. And, you know, they're functional actually. Um, if I had two hands, I'd show you guys how they work. But in the final video, you'll see how they work. That's the whole point is. If I want to have the camper sitting down low and the jacks up, I can, but if I want to have them all the way extended and have the jack, oh, this thing came out, the jack up in the air, it'll hold it because I've drilled a few holes out and made some pins to stick in the, uh, in the holes here. And you can't really see, but you get the idea, guys. And then I've got this, this is like a rack, I guess, I don't know what, what you'd call it, but something. It's a rack, I guess, a roof rack. It'll go up here somewhere when the roof's on there. I'll put that in there. So I don't know exactly how that's gonna, gonna look, but. And then I've got some, just the little little tins that you find, your, you get your screws from the hardware store, Home Depot and stuff like that. I've cut them out a little bit. And these could be, uh, you know, I've, I've, I've painted one with tint actually, sprayed it with tint. I don't know what I want to use, whether I'm going to go with a tint look or if I want to go with a white look. But uh, these will be the, uh, the little vents. Right, I don't know where I'm going to put them. I'd like to get an air conditioner. If I had a, uh, if I had a, um, a 3D printer or if anybody knows where I, I mean Shapeways is uh, probably the best route to go for, to get something really realistic looking but I don't think it's something I can make myself so something like this size would be nice as an air conditioner up here so anyway guys this is where we're at I mean it's a lot longer than I thought but hope you've enjoyed and uh, like I said the next the final video should be should be uh, a finished version here. Anyway guys, let me know what you think. And uh, again, thanks for watching.
Now, if that was a movie, you'd smash cut to them fucking four hours from now, just swinging on something. Flight continues, a little later on, toward the end, we hear the captain has turned on the fasten seatbelt sign. Well, who gives a shit who turned it on? What does that have to do with anything? to them how they needed it. Big mistake. My first comment.